Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I have the pleasure of meeting with our amigo, Manny Pacheco. We are known as the Three Amigos sometimes. <laughs> that's a new one on me. Okay, that's it. The Three uh, Amigos. Oh, I'm sorry. Manny the, 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 the Trace Amigos. Amigos. Trace? Manny, as our resident Hollywood historian, I have a question for you. We were watching uh, Oklahoma the other night on television, and I didn't recognize a pretty young blonde, Gloria Graham. She played a, a nice farm girl. Mm, and, wow. wow, was that against type? <laughs> yeah, that Graham was very... always the bad girl. She yeah. was a sultry yeah. femme fatale. Yeah. I, Tell me about Gloria Graham. Did she, did that movie Oklahoma help her? Was she down and out? Did she have to take that role? That was so no. different for her. That was a big role for her. Addo Annie, the girl who can't say no. Yes, I great mean, song. Yeah, and she, I mean, she was good to a point. <laughs> you don't say no. Yeah. It only means one thing. You're saying yes. <laughs> But uh, Gloria Graham was pretty much at the end of her career at that point, and I'll get to that later. But uh, she started her career early in the 1940s as, uh, as a really pretty woman who could act. But uh, the studios didn't really know what to do with her um, because when the camera looked at her, uh, she had this devilish way about her that uh, really movies hadn't seen since... Gene Harlow, except that Gene Harlow was a lot more playful and uh, Gloria Graham was just sultry. And so basically because of that, she ended up in films where she plays the other woman, mm -hmm. uh, the woman, maybe the femme fatale, as you put it. Yeah. But in many cases, she was never the lead with with one or two exceptions. I'll get to that in a second as well. But uh, you might remember her best um, where she um, plays the other girl, not woman, but the other girl who wants George Bailey in uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Right. Of course, she, she loses uh, James Stewart to Donna Reed. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but, she, but she's still a, a tried and true friend throughout that film. So she's not a bad girl there. But uh, she was in one of the Thin Man movies, and and spoiler alert, in in the the song of the Thin Man, she actually is disposed of, um, and she's a, one of the murder victims that they're trying to solve the the, the murders on, and she, so she co-stars with William Powell and and Myrna Loy in in one of those Thin Man movies, which are so wonderful. But she just had a run of those. A uh, great uh, femme fatale filmed was, and yeah. most most of the time she played opposite of all people Glenn Ford. Hmm. And uh, she made three three movies with Glenn Ford that were all film noirs, and um, things don't work out well for her particularly. Uh, Glenn Ford manages to prevail. Most people remember Glenn Ford with Rita Hayworth because he made three films with her as well. Right. Um, and, you know, Gilda, Fair and Trinidad, all of that. But uh, actually, Glenn Ford was very prolific in film noirs, and he actually was able to uh, turn out a number of movies with, with, with Gloria Graham. Now, she did have a starring role opposite Humphrey Bogart, and uh, she was very, very good in, 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 in that film that was uh, directed by Nicholas Ray. And... Um, she uh, here's the thing in the movie that she made with Humphrey Bogart, she ends up after the film marrying Nicholas Ray. Ah, they had. I a, mean, like in real life, in real life, in real life, in yeah. real, real life. life. Yeah, 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 yeah. They uh, they they were married together, and um, and they and they had a tumultuous relationship. Yeah, and this was this is what made the fifties, you know, so sultry. I mean, this kind of led the way for the emergence of a Marilyn Monroe or a Jane Mansfield. Gloria Graham really started that all off. And I mean, she was tabloid fodder for sure. And this- she had, a, she had a number of husbands. Well, yeah, Nicholas Ray was the most famous, but here's the thing. And this is what derailed her career. Right around the time she makes Oklahoma, she is now divorced uh, to Nicholas Ray. She marries Nicholas Ray's son. <laughs> Did anybody and, ever make a movie of this? 
<laughs> well, funny you should say that because they did. But anyway, the whole point of the matter is, is this was like a bridge too far for her career because yeah. the, the the kid was I I I think he was underage to be honest with you. I think he was 17, but even even if he was 21, he was way too young for Gloria Graham. And you know, you you don't marry the father and then the son. <laughs> that was just wow. that was just kind of too yeah. icky for the 1950s. That's the all. The only I one she didn't marry then is the Holy Ghost. That's right. <laughs> 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 well, that's true. But in uh, recently, there was a movie that was made about Gloria Graham uh, called uh, Film Stars Don't Die in Liber Liverpool. And basically, um, it's uh, a film about uh, Gloria Graham's last days and her battle with cancer. Uh, mm -hmm. Because being the bad girl that she was, even though she was diagnosed with breast cancer, she did absolutely nothing to prevent it from spreading. And she ended up just ignoring the uh, the diagnosis. It, it only got worse. And she figured, well, I'll just move to London because film stars don't die in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so she was wrong again. Well, she didn't die there because uh, her, her her family came to get her um, when she was so deathly ill. And 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 then of course she. Uh, she died shortly after arriving in New York. And she was only, I think, in her late 50s, maybe 60. I think she was yeah. 59. So she died very young and she died of cancer. But she had led this really tumultuous life that complement, complemented her film persona. Yeah. And, um, but her films, I mean, nobody is ever going to say that Gloria Graham couldn't act. She was a fine actress. There is no question about it. I mean, I'm going to say something here that's a little, um, a little controversial, but a little bit of Marilyn Monroe goes a long way with me. I'm not sure she could act all that much. I like her in a given scene or so. She always looks great on film. The camera loves Marilyn Monroe, but her, but her acting style was limited, and um, I think she had the makings to be a great actress. But she didn't have the uh, the psyche. She had a very fragile psyche, and that kind of prevented her from being a really great actress. Gloria Graham had none of those problems, and for that, you know, anytime Gloria Graham's on the screen, she could she could steal the scene from any actor on any given at any given moment. She was that good. Gloria wow. Graham is one of my favorite actresses because not only could she be beautiful and the bad girl with that come hither, look, you know you're going to be in trouble if you go with this girl, right? Right. But she could be so vulnerable. She always looked so vulnerable. Right. You, you wanted to you wanted to rescue her in right. each film. Well, I, in I the, just love her roles. Well, in the movie with, with Bogart, it's called In a Lonely Place, where she actually co-stars. That's one of the rare... And she was so good in this. I think she could have earned an Oscar nomination, but she didn't. Uh, 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 and I'll talk about that in a second. She, but In a Lonely Place was was maybe her best role. She was hmm. really good in this. She's vulnerable. She's not a femme fatale in any way, but she's still sultry. But you really, really like her in this film. And she's there to support Bogart, who is really the vulnerable one in this film. Hmm. In a Lonely Place, and that's the one that was directed by Nicholas Ray. Now, the following year, she makes three movies that are very, very popular. 1952 was a banner year for her. She makes uh, The Greatest Show on Earth, which went on to become the best picture of the year, and very much not in the style of what she's known to play. She plays the elephant trainer, and she's very much like Addo Annie in, in, in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she also is in a femme fatale with, um, with uh, Robert Mitchum, Macau, uh, which is with, also with William Bendix, really great, uh, 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 really great film noir. And she wins an Oscar for her portrayal of Dick Powell's vulnerable wife in The Bad and the Beautiful. So, oh, yeah. and it's, and it was one of the shortest screen performances until Beatrice Strait Network. She, it's one of the shortest screen performances to win an Oscar. So she won a Best Supporting Oscar in 1952. Everything was going right for her. By 1956, her career's over because hmm. she marries she marries Nicholas Ray's son. So in four short years, she went from the top of Hollywood royalty 
to the to the ash can of history. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why I, I have to. I'm glad um, you guys brought this up because I knew very little about her. Uh, I I seem to remember from uh, um, uh, Bill Bailey, next door neighbor. Uh, she she seemed to be like pretty but not gorgeous. She wasn't like a Donna Reed uh, or, or Doris Day kind of gorgeous. She was a girl next door who was a little bit more ordinary, like you might find on a Hallmark movie. Uh, but um, uh, I'm going to actually go back and look to see some of those movies because I didn't realize how, how when, when you say somebody was really good, I got to go take a look at them. So thank well, you guys for bringing this up because this is, for me, not only forgotten, but unknown Hollywood. But the, here's the thing about her. Now, let me close with this. They they typecast her as the third or fourth or fifth billed actress when she was every bit as good as Rita Hayworth and Ava Gardner, in my estimation. She just never got that opportunity. And when she did, um, she was rewarded the following year with, with an Oscar. But she was really, really good in, 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 in the, the movie I would start with of uh, art in a lonely place with Humphrey Bogart. You start there and then you work your way around that and you will see a really fine actress at work who really understood her craft. Mm. Um, I'll make a note of that. Thank you. Good, Manny, thanks so much. Absolutely, my pleasure on that one. I love Gloria Graham. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.